other day, he said, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a coach just like you. Y'all not hear me. I, I love the applause, and that's all well and good, but I want this to sink into your head. He's saying what he's saying, not necessarily because he wants to become that. He's doing it because that's the culture. I want to ask you something. What is the culture that you're creating for your relationship? Remember what I said. Be fruitful. Multiply. Subdue the earth. Have dominion. That's the reason why those are the three pillars of my company. Love. Lifestyle. Legacy. Because you want to create a culture of love. You want to grow and create a lifestyle around that love that you've created in terms of your lifestyle. And then you want it to overflow into the lives of your children and your children's children. So I just want to run through a couple of things real quick. When you're entering into relationship, first and foremost, for those of you that are dating, I want you to do me a favor. Choose compatibility over chemistry. One of the first things that got me in trouble the first time that I did this marriage thing and I got divorced is because I chose 36, 24, 38. You understand what I'm telling you? The first thing that I did was I chose 36, 24, 38. She fine. Yes. Yeah. What scripture is that? Uh, the, hey. Yeah. The Philippians. You know what I'm saying? It's New Testament stuff. We under the New Covenant. You feel me? And I get that everybody will, uh, you know, in here is not believers, but I want you to, to, to for real, grasp hold of the principle. Don't let your eyes... Don't let your eyes mess you up. The inside, the character, the content, the integrity of an individual should match what they look like on the outside if not surpass it. And that's what got me in trouble. Now I'm going to say something for, for, for those that are dating. I'm going to say something that's really unpopular in the day and age that we live in. Do me a favor. Stay away from sex until you know that you know that you know that you know that you want to choose this person for your life. And that's where I'm messing up. She was loving to do real good. Oh, somebody thought I was going to play. No, I'm telling you, the loving was off the chain. But what ended up happening was I started, the red flags started popping up, but I didn't see the red flags because I didn't want to mess up my little booty. And with some of you right now, like for real, you are in a situation where you are caught up on the external. He got a good job. He drives a nice car. He lived in a nice place. He, you know, take care of himself externally, right? But you don't know that he liked to put his hands on women. She's shaped nice. You know what I'm saying? She's doing okay for herself. But you don't know that she's a hellraiser. And here's the funny thing. It's not that they're not happening right in front of you. It's that you've put more value on the external stuff than you did on the internal stuff. And that stuff gets tired real quick. John Gottman says that even when people get ma who get married, right, the first two years are called the tingle stage. 92% of marriages, right, who go through the tingle stage find out the real after the tingle stage wear off. And then what was cute ain't cute no more. Him leaving socks on the on, 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 on the floor. You know what I'm saying? She got her pantyhose hanging from the shower door. And all the stuff that you thought was cute in the beginning is no longer cute. So what do you do now? And I remember after I got in trouble, let me tell y'all something. We laughing and we joking, but when I was going through it for 16 years, because I had a daughter with this woman, I got locked up twice behind this foolishness. Y'all really want to know the real about, for real, choosing a, a, a compatibility over chemistry? The real is that I can build a chemistry out of compatibility, but I cannot build compatibility out of chemistry. I need to make sure that not only do we love each other and like each other, but can we build something together? Be fruitful. That's low-hanging fruit. You, you got a good relationship. Okay, good. What are we going to build together now? Remember what I said. Your marriage is not just about you. Your relationship is not just about you. There are people who are watching. 
And unbeknownst to you, they're patterning themselves after you. You know how many people who pattern themselves after our marriage? And I was like, listen, do me a favor. Do the work. It's the work that gets you the marriage that you want. Not patterning after everybody. Because everybody else's marriage is not the same. When Faith and I got married, we had to tear down everything we thought about, we knew about relationship and marriage and rebuild it custom for us. Why? Because I'm not married to your parents and you are not married to my parents. We are married to each other. My mother's, I mean, my parents' marriage is their marriage. Your parents' marriage is their marriage. And our marriage will be our marriage. Do me a favor, keep folk out your stuff. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest, man, professional marriage and life coach. Listen, one of the things that we've always tried to do here or one of the major themes here at the greenhouse, right, or in the work that I do is to concentrate on love, lifestyle, and legacy, right? And for the purposes of lifestyle, we wanted to create merch that is consistent with our ideas and beliefs as it relates to marriage. So listen, guys, you can see I got on the Tribe Called Marriage, uh, you know what I'm saying, Raglan shirt, Tribe Called uh, Marriage hat, and we have that and tons more merch in the shop. Do me a favor, if you like what we're doing and you like the merch, do me a favor, stop by, get some for you and your wife and support the movement, you feel me? Because if if you're not working on your marriage, my friends, then what are you doing? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Quest. Peace.